Welcome to our official home coffee bar tour. Over the last few months, we've been designing, configuring our dream coffee bar. I'm happy to say it's finally behind us. Ever since we got our first machine in early 2020, we've been expanding our coffee passion and our tools and cups that we could no longer fit everything in our kitchen. And for the kitchen, we wanted to primarily keep that as a food prep space and for cooking. So we decided to move everything out into its own dedicated station. Sort of like what's in my backpack as a photographer, but in this video, it'll be about what's in my coffee station and all the gear I use to make a cup of coffee. I'll show you guys also how we organize each compartment and each drawer of what's inside. We wanted a aesthetic, but also functional coffee bar. So let's get to it. On the counter are tools that I use every day to make a cup of coffee. They're here because it's easy access and I'm able to reach for them whenever I need to. Right here, this is the baby, my baby. It's the Linea Mini in white from Norma Zocco. I got it in white because as you know, I'm really into white shoes. It's also got a matching kettle, grinder, scale, and a milk jug. Previously, we had the Breville Burst Express. It's good for beginner's use for coffee making, but after a while, I got more into and invested in coffee making. And on my birthday, Sam surprised me with this coffee machine, and it is my dream machine. And on top of our machine, we have our latte cups. These cups are from Loveramics. You'll see them in a lot of coffee shops around the world because a lot of baristas like to use these to pour lattes. We have it in two different colors. This is the brown classic color. And then we also have it in the Potter's Edition in a rose pink. As you'll see, it's got a very handmade kind of look because of the glaze. And we wanted this pink and brown because we thought it would add a bit of color and warmth to our otherwise very white coffee setup. And to the right of our coffee cups, we have our little espresso shot glasses. We use these when we want to make a nice latte. And I got these at Shanghai 618 at a lifestyle store. These are by Hario and I love how it has a little lip so when you pour it into your ice, it doesn't spill all over the place. Next to the machine is our knock box. A knock box is where all the used coffee grounds after a shot goes into. It's in a light oak wood, so it might clash with the cabinet, might paint it white. I got it on Taobao along with my two white milk jugs. Next up is the Niche Zero Grinder. I got it because it's so compact and it's cute. I like it because it's also in white and it's apparently one of the best out there in terms of home burst uh, grinders. This is the fellow kettle I got called the EKG 900ML. It is great for my Americanos, my matchas. I got it second hand, so we don't have to pay full price for it. Works great. And I love it because it also holds temperature for a whole hour. From the same brand, fellow, are these coffee canisters. It's called the Atmo canisters, the baker size. It keeps all my beans super fresh and longer lasting because it doesn't oxidize my beans when I open them. It has a pretty cool mechanism where you twist it until you see a green light. That's when you know it's vacuum sealed. In our home cafe, we usually serve two beans at a time. This is from a local roaster called Bandit Coffee. Another one called Elephant Grounds, one of our favorite coffee shops. This is the Akaya Lunar Scale. I use it to measure all my coffee ratios from the beans to when it's grounded up to when it comes up for a perfect shot. It's a bit pricey for a scale, but I believe that's worth it because you have to have accurate and consistent measurements every shot. And for the coffee cabinet itself, I wanted to move away from the whole white cafe aesthetic, especially since most of our coffee tools are already white and I wanted something that would pop and also feel super warm 
and kind of luxurious, almost mid-century modern. I originally really wanted to source a vintage sideboard, but a lot of the ones from the States and Italy are way too big for our small apartment. So I got this one semi-customized from Taobao. We worked with this Taobao seller to customize the sizes. He actually had this design already, but we basically made it a bit wider to accommodate for the machine, which is actually quite deep. The finish for the sideboard is in a light walnut veneer. The good thing about it being in veneer is it makes this unit very easy to transport and move around if we wanted to. The bad thing is, is that it's very easy to get nicks and dents into it. Especially when you're making coffee and you need to tamp, we always get scratches on the top, but I feel like it kind of adds to that vintage vibe of our coffee unit. Because I don't speak Mandarin, I needed to communicate how I want to customize the unit with pictures. So I made a three page PDF kind of showing and outlining how we wanted the drawers and the shelves to be placed inside each of the doors. So we'll start off with the middle compartment first. Each door is open with a touch magnetic closure to reveal the components inside. So on the top here, we have our everyday glass and stemware for our iced lattes. And on the side here, we have some additional love ceramics, egg cups that we aren't able to put on the La Marzocco. So we worked with the cabinet maker to design this to have three drawers to put in specific items. So each drawer is quite shallow because we wanted to keep more stemware in here. Each drawer you'll see we bought these acrylic organizers from Ikea. They were cheapest. And then we also lined them with felt from Ikea. These acrylic cubes act as utensil organizers for all our coffee tools. So on the side, we have our extra coffee tools like a Hario milk frother. We have an extra porter filter. On the right side, we have a bunch of reusable straws and some additional knickknacks for the coffee machine. On the right of the coffee tools, we have our tumbler glasses for iced lattes. These are from Itala from Finnish Design Shop and the ones in the back are from LSA. Moving on to the second drawer. Here we store our Loveramics espresso cups. We don't use these as much because we're not huge espresso drinkers. We also have a Japanese iron tea kettle and our coffee spoons. And the bottom is actually my favorite drawer because I feel like it's most well organized. And this is all our miscellaneous items. Here we have a few drip coffee bags. We also have some loose leaf tea from TWG, some tea sugar, some Fortnum tea. My matcha is stored here. I usually have another one here, but I just finished that. Some chai and hot chocolate. And then moving on to the right side of the coffee cabinet are extra cups and glass that we don't use every day. That's why we store it here. On the top shelf, we have our syrups. This is my favorite, Hershey's Caramel for iced lattes. I also just got a new one, special dark chocolate. Haven't tried it yet, but looking forward to using it for fall drinks. Here, I keep all my novelty glassware. For example, these Sophie Lou Jacobson Ripple Cuffs. I was very influenced by Coffee Bay on TikTok and ended up purchasing these. I love these, but they're not very practical on a daily basis. I also have some retro stemware from a Japanese brand, along with some dollar store crystal glasses, and this glass you've probably seen a lot last year, which I found in my house when I first moved in. Here in the middle drawer is my vintage teacup collection. I have this set from Nico, which I sourced from Carousel, along with this beautiful vintage set from Edelstein. These are really pretty, and I look forward to making more teas in them. And here at the bottom, we just keep all our extra coffee beans that we haven't used yet and some extra teas. And since our coffee cabinet is located in our living room, we also wanted an area dedicated to snacks. This whole drawer is for our snacks. So when we have movies or host friends, they can grab a snack if they want. On the top, we have our chocolate. In the middle drawers, we have our chips. Victor's kind of finished all the Doritos. These acrylic units I found from Mono Mono, which is the equivalent of the dollar store here in Hong Kong. Here at the bottom, we still have more miscellaneous chips and pretzels. And this is also where I keep all our oat milk for friends who prefer oat versus regular dairy milk. Overall for this coffee bar, we wanted something really modern, 
grown up and not very farmhousey with those cliche coffee quote sayings on there. We try to keep it very uncluttered, minimal and elegant since this does live in our living room space. I also got a vase I've been wanting to get for a really long time from Simone Bonner Turner and added some branches so the overall feel of the coffee bar feels a little more lifestyle, a little more interior as opposed to just a functional space. <laughs>